What is up, everyone? Gaming out here, and welcome to Time Swap Friendship Hip Simulator Volume 1. Also, happy 413, everyone. Then it's Homestuck Day, and I'm really freaking excited. You can't see me, I don't have face cam on, but I've got a bunch of Homestuck gear on me because I'm really happy for this day. Guys, been anticipating this game, so let's go. Let's see if I can operate this a full screen display. Should have had that on before I start the video. Okay, well. Anyway, so let us start this game then, shall we? You have just crash landed on the planet of Alternia. Alright, and staggered from the smoldering wreckage of your ship. Okay, you are now completely alone in a strange world. Desperate for information, for provisions, and possibly a bit of medical attention. But most of all, you are desperate you are desperate for Friendship. Won't someone on this godforsaken rock be your buddy? Any murder will do. You're not that picky. Hang on, what's this now? Is someone approaching? Let's make like a pick our data or demon or di diamond. We're gonna pick our data. She seems fun. Yes, someone's watching. A strange gray skinned alien clad in blue. Perhaps they will make for a good friend. <clears throat> Dear God. And just what are you supposed to be? Your stammering, re your, your stammering reply eventually conveys that you're her lost traveler who is hungry and probably in need of some medical treatment. You're also really lonely and wouldn't mind making a new friend right about now. Oh. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> what is up with her? How funny how funny this is. How very droll. You you want to be my friend? I mean, yeah. It's too much. This 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 thing at my doorstep. Wishing to know me in any capacity. It's hilarity somehow escapes my ability to capture the men with maniacal laughter. How rare. You apologize for your presumptuous request. You hang your head, turn around, and begin to walk away. And just what the what the frick do you think you're doing? Who invited you to leave? Stop your tracks obediently and turn turn to face her again. Your possibly broken ribs are throbbing in pain, but this does not strike you as the right moment to exhibit weakness. It dawns on me that you may have gotten off on the wrong saunter pod. Don't recognize that word from Homestuck. Look, where are my manners? Ghastly behavior on, on my part. <clears throat> After all, it isn't your fault you seem to be some sort of hideous freak, is it? And such a tragic creature cannot be held responsible for such a devastating shortfall of social competence. I would be I'd weep for you, really, except that crying out you know, of three eyes at once gets a bit messy, so instead I think I'll, I'll be saving my tears for someone less offensively worthless. Oh, she only has three eyes, I thought she had four. So, you aren't sure if, inviting, if she's inviting you inside, or if she just got you know, to stay a little longer so she can insult you some more. You try to remain stoic while your confrontational new friend decides to do decides what to do with you. Unfortunately, you sniffle slightly. Oh, oh my, oh dear, you're sad. Mm hmm. <laughs> so amusing to me, mildly endearing even. Perhaps I'll decide later if it's endearing once I have more, more information. It's entirely possible I will retroactively decide it's it's uh, it's disgusting. But for now, try to put yourself at ease. You completely pitiful fool. Not one more sniffle. Do you understand? You nod while practicing exemplary control over your nose. You've gotten yourself so agitated. I wonder why. You have nothing to worry about from me. Of course I'll be your friend. Conditionally, I mean. There is a chance the designation will be formalized if you ha behave in ways that I approve of starting now. <laughs> Let's call it a friendship in progress. Agreed? Okay, yeah, sure. Your heart swells. This is what you've been waiting for. A new friend. Oh gosh, all you have to do now is try not to screw anything up at all, possibly for many hours. Come into my... Okay, come into my hive this way, after me. You look like you could use nourishment. Okay. I don't know what it is, is what it is that whatever you, you are eats, generally, but it doesn't matter. You'll eat whatever it is I have on hand, if I tell you to. How does that sound? How does it sound? It sounds good. I'll do whatever you say. I'm yes, ob obviously it sounds good. You'll definitely enjoy it. I better fucking enjoy it. I assume um, that we share this philosophy when it, it comes to friendship. Yep, you say hey, oh yes, absolutely. You nod as enthusiastically as you can without aggravating your broken ribs. One second. You consider giving her a thumbs up as well, until you realize one of your arms is probably broken too. You'll try to make sure that she doesn't doesn't notice though. It probably leave a bad impression. 
Come with me. There's something I need your help with. I'm worried as fuck. <laughs> Follow her into her hive. It's a bit gloomy in here. You suppose she's going to fix you something to eat soon, as promised. Grass her kitchen and out the, the other side to another room. Okay, you guys dinner can wait. This way. Try not to let any of your broken limbs slow you down. <laughs> Good friend went to allow such trifling physical ailments and <laughs> caused me any inconvenience. Oh, so I guess she does know you're injured. Fair enough. You hobble a little faster through the, another door in a much darker room. And now, down a flight of stairs? Oh gosh, <laughs> I warned you about the stairs, bro. It's hard to see. There are torches along the wall ahead. A monstrous noise rumbles below. Don't mind her. She's just hungry. She's always hungry, though. Music's just like half-swap. I remember. Love that. What's that? You're hungry too? I have not forgotten. What, what sort of sh what a piece of shit friend have you take me for? <laughs> you didn't remind her that you're hungry. You thought it though. Can she read your mind? You hope not. That's gonna make this friendship progress a bit awkward. Here we are. This is where you'll be most useful to me as a friend. What the heck am I? <laughs> you look around with a sense of relief. You see no sign of whatever hungry thing was rumbling down here. You are less relieved to see several other kids trapped in cages of various shape and size. Kids! One of them makes eye contact with you. The boy he is the same kind of alien as her. Horns and all. He has a dark red symbol on his shirt. His expression seems to plead with you. Oh, they're trolls. Okay. He struggles to say, Help! <coughs> the new friend looks unamused and twitches her finger. Hello. Hello, which by which by which I mean hello, of course. Looks, looks like you're the new friend in progress chosen by the great in beautiful Ar Ardetta. She's my savior, and my reason for, for being. I am nothing without her. I'd hollow myself out and let her make a nest inside of me if she'd permit it. I'm scared of her now. <laughs> Turn from away from this boy. You don't want to hear anything he has to say ever again. Oh crap, I missed the text box. Uh, come over here. This is what I need your help with, if you're, you're going to have any value to me as a friend. You're led to a dark, to a dank corner of this, well... You're gonna call, like you see, this is a dungeon. Yeah, it pretty fucking much is. There's kids in cages. Your new friend has a dungeon full of sad, suffering children. Presumably a monster lurking around some here as well. It's not ideal. Then again, social beggars like you can't be choosers. <laughs> I've been having an awful time with it. You can do it for me. It will save me some time. What the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> I'm worried. Look like... You look you got the thing in question. You doubt that she's having an awful time with it. You doubt this because it's still in its box, looking completely untouched since it was bought since it was brought down here. It's a box containing a table. A table that looks ominously like it was designed to keep a person strapped to its surface. I'll need you to assemble it. Here's a screwdriver in case you need it. I will assume that the required tools are contained within the box. Take the screwdriver with your non broken arm. This isn't exactly what you had in mind. No it isn't. You don't know what you had in mind, really. A warm meal, friendly banter, perhaps a, perhaps a sling for your arm and a rem remedial, remedial ball for your ribs. Still, you open the box without protest. Hold on, before you start, this will make for excellent content. My fans will appreciate this. Oh wait, fans? So it's a video recording device on a tripod and points it at you. The video feed comes to life on several Mars right just behind you. You, you see in the corner of, your, corner of the screen an unflattering angle of your torso hunched over the furniture box. Oh, she's making videos. Okay, I can relate with her. I love her now. <laughs> other rect rectangles contain shots of other the other kids and cages pointing around the room. You suppose cameras are pointing at them too? So you had no idea this friendship came with a perk of instant stardom. You know, I wish that was true with everything. Now, now he may begin. She's suddenly sitting in a comf comfortable looking chair facing you and holding a chalice, swishing around in some vis viscous viscous liquid it contains. All, you have all the parts are spread across the floor, organized is according to their labels and the, and the instructions. You try to remember the last time you assembled something like this. You don't recall enjoying it. To be perfectly honest, this doesn't look like it'll be any fun at all. She frowns conspicuously. Oh, how sad for you. I'm sorry. Is this activity not to your liking? You reassure her biggest vigorously that no, it actually it looks amazing. You love oh shit like this. It's what you were born for. You say as you swoosh screwdriver around, demonstrating your plainly evident skill with the tool. <clears throat> Forget the thing you just thought. Completely arbitrary and wrong thoughts pop into your head all the time. It meant nothing. You swear. Mm hmm. Yes, I hear that a lot. Continue. You open the little bag full of screws. Jesus, there are like fifty screws to this thing. 
Where could possibly most of these screws? Where, where could most of these fucking screws possibly even go? <laughs> Judging from the picture, the table really doesn't seem that complicated. You look at your screwdriver, then suddenly this, and then study the screws. Every single one of them requires an Allen wrench. Does this thing even come with an Allen wrench? The instructions seem to suggest it does. You look, look around, but don't see one. Did you open the bag too forcefully? The Allen wrench go bouncing off in the dark deep dungeon crevice nearby. But you lost some of the screws too. Damn it! <laughs> I know how you're feeling, dude. You begin to sweat. You look around nervously. You check underneath one of the parts. No, it's not under there. You grip the screwdriver a little tighter. You wonder what to do next. Get the hell out of here. Just do your best. I'm gonna do this because don't wanna, <laughs> don't wanna mess up. You decide it would be best not to complain about the missing Allen wrench. Your friend would probably consider it bad form. You also have to make do and twist in all the screws you you can by hand, as best you can. Your broken arm isn't making this any easier. You have you favor the other one and prop up pieces into place he's precariously, leaning against each other, while you nudge them into position with your with your legs so the screw holes align. It's really frustrating work. You're not gonna lie. You are twi <laughs> as you were twisting in the first screw, your groove the groove slip and the screw gets stuck. But now but you've got already got it turned too tight. Now it's it's hard now it's hard to get out. <laughs> you twist in re in reverse harder. But your fingers slip and the table Little pieces start to slide. They're gonna fall. You react to catch them, but it's too late. A heavier piece tips over and slams you in your broken ribs on its way to the floor. It hits the floor with a bang. The stuck screw pops out and goes bouncing 10 or 15 feet away. Hey, settling deep underneath a piece of dungeon furniture. You're probably going to need to get that. You were here, Light Chuckle. Good. Good. She takes another sip from her chalice and said, Oh, it was even more comfortably into her chair. Is she enjoying this? I mean, I would too if I made videos. Which I do, so I do enjoy it. I think she is enjoying watching you struggle to put this stupid thing together. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> Nevertheless, you continue. A friend is a friend. You don't like to let your friends down. You committed yourself to this project. You will get the screw out from under there a bit later. Maybe when you need the final screw, you you, you turn your attention back to the table pieces and try a different strategy. You place the biggest part, the table platform, flat on the floor. The legs which would be pointing upward if they were attached. <sighs> Position up, oh, crap, I didn't get to read that one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah, why does this skip forward a couple I press it like once, it sometimes it goes over two. But you also have to admit taking a certain pride in it, it's wonderful. Actually to feel somewhat useful, wanted, important even, if only somewhat maniacally, to a great new friend who has discovered a way for your talents to improve her life. Out of the corner, you notice one of the caged kids reaching out his hand. He's concentrating. Then you notice the screw you lost slowly slide out from it, and from underneath its hiding place. Nice. Everyone's working like a team down here. <laughs> Our data doesn't look does not look at the kid, but sneers a bit. She reaches toward him, hurt him, and he appears to have trouble breathing. After a moment, you notice the screw slowly slides back like, underneath under the thing. She releases him from his breathing problems, resumes her pleasant expression, and takes another sip from the chalice. She's powerful. I guess that was that was against the rules. You decide not to take to make note of it. Your friend runs a, runs a tight ship down here. You respect that. <laughs> this is an interesting friendship, if you ask me. I feel like I'm gonna be killed. About an hour later, you have all four legs on, plus some other instruments attached. You wrestle my mightily with the thing to get it upright, using your only good arm. It seems and she may have forgotten about that final well, missing screw. You doubt the table needs it. You don't decide to bring it up if she won't. You give it a test. It's pretty wobbly since you were only able to tighten it with screws with just your bare fingers. But again, she doesn't seem to mind. She reclines and has a look on her face which makes her appear absolutely enamored of your handiwork. She has, has finished her drink and the chalice is on a side table. Some awful looking thing crawls up up along the floor towards her. I wonder what her Lucis is. That spider thing? I can't tell if it's a spider or something else. It looks like hey, some sort of spider. Okay, it is a spider. The size of an average dog. It's abdomen and, and is preposterously large. Actually, you think it's a huge tick. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It settles just in front of her. She puts her leg on top of it and crosses them. It settles under their weight and grumbles. Let's try it out, shall we? You shrug. You sit down at a rather rickety table. About to lie down, but she interrupts you. No. You fool. You absolute fool. What do you think you're doing? That's not what I meant. Get up. Stand up, embarrassed. Again, without looking at <laughs> the cage kid, she raises an arm toward him and beckons. He stares blankly and opens his own cage, which apparently wasn't locked. 
He shuffles his vacantly over to your, to your table and lies down on its surface. He looks at you expectantly. You aren't sure what to do. What? You didn't think I'd be playing stickball on that thing, did you? You aren't sure what table stickball is. Oh, you really are pretty simple, aren't you? It's like a miniature version of arena stickball, played on a table. Got it? You don't, but you nod. Now go to it. Mm-hmm. You shackle a kid's arms and legs to the table. That seemed to be the right thing to do, since the thing becomes fit with shackles. She gets up and lifts her huge tick-like pet. It makes more grumpy noises. She plops the enormous thing right down to the kid's chest. He appears rendered unable to protest. Tick bites the boy's neck. Oh, <laughs> sweet troll Jigas, no, this is getting dark. Begins to feed. She smiles and pa pats its swelling abdomen. Dark, rust-colored blood dribbles from the place where it was attached to the boy's neck. I feel so bad for that thing. The boy. Troll. I don't know. I haven't even seen him. Well, let's go by while she looks gratified by the process. Proud, almost. Then she looks at you, expectantly. Well? You don't know what she means. The final screw. Aren't you going to retrieve it and screw it into wherever it needs to go? This job isn't done. I don't, I don't keep the company of many individuals who leave things unfinished, you know? Of course. What were you thinking? You should have known your friend wouldn't let that go unnoticed. Actually, you feel like an idiot for thinking it would. <laughs> yep, I'm... Stop getting too real. This character's way too much like me. Except I'm not a handyman. <laughs> You're super very low to the ground, on your knees, placing your cheek just above the floor. You peer under the large edifice. And it's, it's dark in there, and goes back a ways. Lots of room for that darn little screw to roll. You take up a few pitiful swipes with your good arm. Comes up empty. You must be further back. You you think you can see it? Yep, that must be it. Just a little further. You have an idea. A tool would be helpful. Guess the screwdriver will come in handy after all. Hmm. How did she know? Your new who friend must be very wise. You think, think you like her every more, more every minute. I think I'm getting scared of her every minute. She's... <laughs> you grab the screwdriver and feel around with it. You... Yes, you got it. Hey, you think... Think... You carefully scrape it close yourself, then then pick it up. You then go back to the table and find the one remaining hole you left unscrewed. You slide under the table as the mechanic would with the car. There it is. The table is now creaking, wobbling quite a bit now. The tick is really getting into its dinner, it seems. All the loose screws in the table have added up to a lot to g of given leeway in the overall stabil stability of the furnishing. Maybe the final screw, screw will help. Ardana has returned to, turn to, set to the setup with the monitors. She's adjusting some of the settings on the feed. She's controlling the zoom of the camera and typing some remarks into a chat window. This is very good material today. It's not often that I provide content of this, this caliber to my subscribers. Hey, I can relate to you even more, except you're a sadist. You're a sadistic little fuck, you know that? <laughs> I wouldn't mind shipping myself with you if you weren't so creepy. <laughs> on complete project, this'll be good. You still think it's weird that she likes watching you put furniture together so much, but you've, hey, you're you not hey, one to judge friends. Sounds like a great way to lose friends, honestly. You screw who in the final screw, but who? But the stresses on the table are causing the, the holes to be misaligned. This won't be easy. Huge tick shifts its grotesque body above you, causing the table to creak loudly. You nervously slide halfway out front of the table to check it out. Then a loud pop. Then the sound of scraping metal. Six or seven screws shoot out of the desk. It's like rivets in a sinking submarine. What a piece of shit this thing is. You think a little too late. You really need that Allen wrench. All four legs splay dramatically. She's got a really weird face right now. Splay out from, out from uh, splay dramatically out from underneath at once. Like a baby deer on ice, the platform comes crushing down on your lower torso, breaking your pelvis. You bellow in pain and fail to pull yourself out. Oh crap. Forget that you're still holding the screwdriver and your deepest flailing. You plunge the screwdriver into your fat abdomen of the oh, and the fat abdomen of the tick, which begins, begins gushing rust blood with the. F oh no! I just got myself killed, didn't I? The beast starts thrashing wildly and screaming. You can't see your new friend due to the blood in your eyes, but your imagination's thrilled about what's going on here. No, I think she's fucking pissed. Your annihilated pelvis is in perfect agony. You have to get your miserable torso out from under this shitty table. You have an idea. I don't trust myself. Last idea I had was to befriend this this weirdo. With your broken arm, you start slapping the big ass of the. You've been slapping the big ass of screaming tick while yelling yee ha. 
What the heck? You clutch the screwdriver handle with your other hand hard. The blood gushing monster starts kicking and rearing and blasts off across the dungeon floor like a pig at a rodeo. You hold on for dear life. You have still blind, but the plan works. You've been pulled out from under the table, the tomb. You've spent the last hour constructing for yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness, this story's getting really stupid. <laughs> oh, I fucked up. <laughs> oh, goody. I was gonna save because my timer just went off. I'll have to resume this tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> what was this game? Oh, this is definitely going to be an interesting series.